Oh, that's what I was thinking. You got this one? No. All right. Welcome back to the Weekly Insider, folks. Dude, I was thinking about something to say, and I just still thought, all right. Welcome back, everybody, to the Weekly Insider. Hope you're enjoying your Thursday morning or whenever you decide to watch this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video, and do all that fun stuff. Without any further ado, we're going to hop into our picks for our Pick'em League. And if you are interested in joining, it's completely free. Top of the description. Go click the link and uh, join our Pick'em League and compete against us every week. So, again, without any further ado, let's hop into Thursday night. We got the Rams at the Seahawks. Pretty interesting Thursday night game. I feel like mm-hmm. this is the best one so far this season. Definitely. Um, I'm going to go with the Rams coming off a tough loss against the Cardinals, but I'm still going with the Rams. They're still a do- dominant, defensively, dominant defensive team yeah. with a very good offense. So that's my choice. Yeah, here. and, I mean, they have the perfect like kind of corner duo to match up with the uh, Seahawks because yeah. Jalen Ramsey shuts down DK, I think, every single time. Um, he's the only guy physical enough. It, like speed and height wise, strength wise, to match up with DK consistently, and then Darius Williams is short outside corner, but it doesn't really matter when you're playing Tyler Lockyer. He's also like five nine. Um, so yeah, I'm also gonna go with the Rams in this one. Okay, pretty simple pick for us. Um, oh, next game, <laughs> both both London, teams. Man. London game. Oh, this is London, isn't it? Nine. Oh. It's at nine in the morning, so I assume it's London. Oh, that's right. It does say nine. Could be Ireland. No, Are they playing in Ireland yet? No, it's it's London. Well, yeah, usually it is. I just can't remember. All right, well, it's Jets at the Falcons. So, um, London's seen a good one. That's how you become a That's bit. tough. This is confusing by the NFL, because the reason you're playing games in London is like brand ambassador type stuff, but Jets and fucking Falcons, really? Best two teams in the, in the NFL right now. Huh. The, I can know the battle of the least. I know a guy in England that's a Falcons fan, so. Do you? Uh, like, through some Discord, yeah. Oh, okay. Like, There's like five people from England, and he's one of them. He's a Falcons fan. Nice, no, I have no idea why, but... Hey, man. So. If you're going to pick a team, why not? But, uh, wow, this is a really tough game. I'm mm-hmm. not even going to lie. Um, I'm going with the Jets. Who did the Falcons just beat? I know they, they lost, lost to Washington. They lost to Washington. I'm going to go with the Jets. As much as I think the Falcons' offense is starting to get a rhythm going, you said that last in nice yesterday, yesterday. yesterday's episode, but mm-hmm. I, I think I'm going to go with the Jets here. I like Zach Wilson in the Jets. In this one. Yeah, I'm also going to go with the Jets just because, I mean, they had six or seven sacks against Tannehill in Washington, or uh, Tennessee's offensive line is better than Atlanta's. So I think we could see a similar thing here. They'll get a lot of pressure on Matt Ryan. Um, the corner group for the Jets is not good, or at least I don't think it is. I haven't really watched them um, for good reason. But, yeah, I'm going to go with the Jets. I think this this should be another relatively so high means, scoring game. That means the Falcons are going to win <laughs> if we both go Jets. <laughs> All right. Um, next game, we got the Packers at the Bengals, and this I'm is actually a really good game. You're going Packers? Yeah. I'm going Bengals. I'm going Bengals. Joe Burrow and the Bengals are going to take out the um, Green Bay Packers. Yeah, I mean, they barely they snuck by Minnesota. They struggled again. They had to come back late against Jacksonville. Who was their other win? Pittsburgh. Who their offense sucks. sucks. Dude, Pittsburgh is um, terrible. So yeah, I'm gonna go with Green Bay. It's all right. Sometimes you just know. Although last week I kind of lost a little bit of my hot hand. <laughs> We're not going to talk about that. Um, next game, we got the Lions at Minnesota. And, man, Minnesota's 1-3, and three, bro. Who did they just lose to? They just lost oh, to, to the, Browns. the Browns. And Cousins and, didn't look good. Man. Man. Cousins is playing really well this year, though. That yeah, one last game, we didn't. Yeah, but he well, did last good week. first three. Yeah, first three was great. Yeah. I don't know. I, I feel bad for the Vikings. That one and three record, it sh- it sucked because they lost like really close. They've all been one possession. Yeah, like it, they. It, I'm gonna go with the Vikings here. I think Lions are gonna be 0 and five, unfortunately. So am I. Um, but yeah, I'm going with the Vikings. Yeah, I'm going with the Vikings too. I like the Lions, like kind of. I like Lions what they're trying team, to but... build, but man, they just have no talent. I'm I'm gonna be honest. Jared Goff is not good. Why do you say that? I, he's he's a very methodical quarterback, and like he doesn't. I feel like. Later in a game, when you need a quarterback to kind of like take over and go off of the game and have a rhythm, he just doesn't have it. Well, yeah, because he's not mobile. He's not mobile. And he doesn't have any playmakers. He can only go to Swift and Hawkinson so many times before they just put all mean? eleven guys five okay, yards. Okay, you're descri- Cephas is pretty good. Watch him. Watch his gameplay. I mean, Cephas is actually freaking good, and I like uh, Ar- 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 St. Brown is uh, just a fast guy, so Ar- I don't really Ar- know. He's not fast. He ran like a four six. I thought he was. No, he's not their speed guy. No. 
They don't oh, have a speed shit. guy. Well, right. Kale- they have you know Kale- They don't have any one or first or second option. Don't sleep on Cephas. That's all. Cephas is all right, but he's not a top guy. Like, what does he do that like honestly last year that Travis Fulgham didn't do? Catch touchdowns. Travis, I don't know if Travis Fulgham <laughs> did or not, but I just I don't know, get a few either. games but where he looked good. Listen, from the games that I've watched with Cephas, he looked really good. I'm not so. saying Cephas is, is Travis Fulgham. I think he's a little better than that, but like. He's we'll not see. a number one guy. He's a third guy. He's a red zone guy. He's a two. He's not a two. All right. <laughs> Next game. We got the Broncos <clears throat> at the Steelers. Broncos. Ah, Drew Locke might be playing. Fuck, I actually hate Drew Locke. Bro. Drew Locke's dinky. That guy sucks. Fuck. I'm going with the Steelers here, man. I'm going with the Steelers. Ben Roethlisberger and that paper mache arm. I think he's they're going to win the game. Holy shit, man. Hmm. Somehow. I know. Did you see what Brian said on Twitter? What? He made a good point that, like, Tomlin came out and said, like, stop asking about our quarterback situation. Ben's our guy. Now he's our guy for the rest of the year. And Brian said, like, how bad do Rudolph and Haskins have to be that Tomlin's saying it's Ben? No questions asked. Like, <laughs> Jesus. Hey, man. If Ben Roethlisberger could throw a little dinky pass to Deontay Johnson all day long, I don't care. I'm gonna go with the Broncos, dude. Like oh, yeah. the Steelers have M- Judy still out, I think. So Steelers have better playmakers. Um, He's definitely still out. Yeah. But their O line is a lot worse. Quarterback, if it's Locke, is better. If it's Teddy, it's, honestly Teddy might be better. He, at least Teddy's he looked he's looked better, better this year. Um, and then honestly, defenses I think are relatively similar. Oh, I think Bradley Chubb's out, so Steelers uh, probably have the best defense in the league, at least top three. Mm-hmm. But the Broncos are not far behind. Um, so, I'm going to go with the Broncos here. As, if Especially if Raiderwater plays. If Locke plays, I probably would want to go with the Steelers. But Listen, uh, I guess I just... really like the Broncos. I really hope they win. But for, I think, for whatever reason, I just think the Steelers are going to win this game. I don't know. I mean, I if, Locke, if Locke plays, I'm going to say 60-40 Steelers. <laughs> if Bridgewater plays, I'm saying like 80-20 Broncos. So, I agree, I agree with that, with, actually. I'm going to lean with like the Broncos. If Bridgewater does play, I'm I would I would 100% take the Broncos. Yeah. Um, all right, uh, and then we got Dolphins at the Buccaneers. Uh, it's a pretty close matchup. I'm going to go with the Buccaneers here. Yeah. <laughs> Miami sucks, man. Until, I mean, Tua, I don't care for Tua necessarily, but Brissett is not what this team needs. No. So maybe Tua can come in and bring something different. Um, I doubt it, though. He's a rib injury. That's really hard but, to come at, even back from. So. No, I think he's on the IR. He can't come back this week anyways. Oh, oh. But, oh, that's right. He was placed on IR. Will Fuller's out now. He I broke mean, his finger. Their offensive line is horrid. So, Will Fuller and missed week one because of a suspension, missed week two because of family issues, missed... Played week three. Played week three, and then this week is now out finger. because of a finger. He's week to week, they said. Because you can broke play, his finger. You can know, play with a broken finger. I understand that. It but depends like, what finger it is. Dude, it's this, one. <laughs> this dude cannot catch a break. Like... Yeah. But no, I mean, even Miami's Dolph- Dolphins. Uh, the Dolphins' defense has not, in my opinion, looked that, has not looked good. Yeah. I mean, I don't watch their games, but statistically, they're like bottom 10 in almost every defensive category. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is supposed to be a defense that should be like tops of the league. Yeah. With Flores, that secondary. Um, D line, they got a lot of young guys. Agba's not that young, but he's good. But other than that, a lot of young guys, so I don't okay. know. But Buccaneers, obviously, right? Yeah. Okay. So this one matchup, we got the Saints at Washington, both 2-2. Two and two. Saints coming off a pretty terrible loss against the Giants. And Washington coming off a thriller of a victory mm-hmm. versus the Falcons. Um, man, you don't know what you're going to get with the Saints. Yeah. You can literally get lockdown D, lockdown defense, unstoppable offense, or you can get a completely shambled offense and a mediocre defense. Like, yeah. I don't know. It's crazy. I'm going to go with the Washington. Actually, no, I don't know. I don't know because Logan Thomas is out. Yeah. I'm going with the Saints. I think the Saints, honestly. With how Washington's defense has looked, somehow as bad as it has been, um, I could see the Saints putting up 40. Sean Payne's one of the best offensive coaches in the league. Um, they put up points almost every single week. And wa- I don't get Washington's defense. The talent is there. But they give up 30 every single game, I think, so far. 28 at least. All right. Well, since you're going Saints, I'm going to go Washington. Keep it different. I'm going to go different. Um. So, yeah. Yeah, like you said, the defense, I don't know what's going on. But at some point, they're going to switch around. So, maybe it's this week. Um, next game, we got the Eagles at the Panthers. I'm going with the Panthers. Losing Brandon Graham was big for the Eagles. <laughs> oh, they lost a uh, defender? Well, he was at, he, he played the first, like, <clears throat> one and three quarters of a game. Mm. They, their defense, obviously, was really good against the Falcons. 
looked solid week two against the 49ers, and that's when he got hurt. And then they've kind of sucked against the Chiefs and who they lose to two weeks ago, I forget. Cowboys. So they've given up a ton of points. Granted, two good offenses, but, I mean, 49ers and Falcons aren't, like, bad offenses. No. And they held them to, to 23. 17. I think 17 and 6, yeah. so 23. Um, so, yeah, I mean, Com- Eagles kind of a lost case. Yeah, I'm going with Panthers cost. as well. Um, yeah, just not, no real rhyme or reason. I just yeah. don't, I don't have faith in the Eagles. Even Neither though they I. have looked pretty good, their one and three record. I feel like they're they're playing better than that one and three record shows, but I don't, mm. know. I don't know. It's like fifty fifty for me. Whew. Next game: Titans at Jacksonville. Titans, Jags suck. Bye bye, Urban Meyer. <laughs> yeah, I I really hope Urban Meyer gets fired or something because he's in he's in he's a dingus. I don't know how else to explain it, but yeah, I like Trevor Lawrence a lot, but that Titans offense with uh, Derrick Henry as the running back is. Basically unstoppable. I mean, like, well, rushing game is, but they lost the Jets, so who knows? I mean, they got what's supposed to be a transcendent quarterback. Um, they had a ton of money in free agency, and they got rid of what was supposed to be a bad coaching staff. And I don't think they looked better. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, you can make the excuse as it's a rookie quarterback and a new head coach, but it's not like Urban Meyer's new to football. It's like it's his first time being yeah. a head coach. For, I think it's his first time I, in the NFL. I don't think he's ready for the he NFL. He was still a head coach for 15, 20 years yeah. in college. Trevor Lawrence, there's, I mean, yeah, rookie quarterback, but is he, can he be that? Can he be any worse? And like, I like Gardner Minshew, but if, if Lawrence is this good, if Lawrence is that good, he's not worse than Minshew. So, <laughs> I don't know. I think the Jags, this was a failed experiment. Go with Irvin Meyer, but yeah, we'll no. see. Okay. Next game, Patriots at the Texans. I'm going with the Texans. Really? No, I'm not. Actually, I'm I was going to say, Davis I'm Mills. Going with, I'm going with the Patriots. <laughs> Bill Belichick against a I'm rookie definitely. quarterback, a third rounder at that. I'm definitely going yeah, with the Patriots. I'm going with the Patriots. Um, that Texas, I think once Tyrod Taylor comes back, they'll start winning a couple yeah, of they, games. Yeah, they, they looked honestly solid. Yeah, I, I think Tyrod Taylor is obviously better than Davis Mills, but yeah, where did Davis Mills even go to college? Stanford. Damn. I can't remember if he transferred there. I don't think he did, though. But <laughs> this is taking so long. I don't know what the fuck, dude. Put me in. What is there with this one? Two fifty. It's a hundred. Really? When did it go down to two oh, fifty? No. Oh, it is two fifty. Yeah. I think it went seventy-five. Damn! I mean, did we both get fucked or what? It usually takes like a thirty seconds. Three thousand. Damn. Not enough, right? Not even closures. Right? How many are there? Is it 500 or 250? Pretty sure it's 250. Bitch. 375. Oh, I mean, you might get it. We'll stick it. But Damn. doubt I get there. I'm not. I got 4,000. Yeah. This is, this is the last one today, right? Yeah. And I think it puts me at the end. Your number in the way. Oh, no. I guess oh, it keeps you there. Uh-huh. I guess unless you close out the app, I guess. I don't know. Hmm. All right. Next game, we got the Chicago Bears at the Raiders. I'm taking Raiders in this one. They're going to bounce back. Um, I, I'd like to see also the Raiders stomp in the Bears just so that way Nagy can get fired as well. Um, yeah. Someone give Justin Fields some proper coaching. That'd be great. I don't know if Nagy <clears throat> gets fired before the end of the year just because, I mean, they've lost, I think, both of their starting tackles. Now they're running back for a few games, and obviously the quarterback that they were hoping to roll with got hurt. So we'll see. But, yeah, I mean, I, Nagy, Nagy won't be here at the end of the year. Unless, like, they go maybe 8-8, eight and eight, but even so. 8-9. Okay. Next game. So we both took Raiders, correct? Yeah, so either okay. either I'm going to be right for once, or at least Josh won't gain a game on me, so. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Next, we have the Browns at the Chargers, which is actually a really good game. Yeah. I'm very excited for this one. Um, I'm going with the the Chargers here. I think uh, they're going to keep that hot hand going. Yeah. The Browns are really good. Like this is a this is a playoff team or a playoff game. Like we're, we're yeah. watching right now. Um, Say both losses, the Chargers <clears throat> three point loss to the Cowboys on the last second field goal, and then uh, Browns having the Chiefs come back week one. That's true. Week one. So too. both were really close games against good teams. Yeah. So. That is, uh, so I'm going with Chargers. Who are you going? I'm going to go with whoever the home team is. Which one is it? Chargers. Fuck. 
<laughs> he wanted um, it to be the Browns so bad. Well, I couldn't remember. I'm just trying to use logic. Um, the Browns. I mean, I, w- I feel like they're... It's is like a toss-up game to me. Yeah, with Kenneth Murray out, Chargers have a real good run I game. think also Odell and Baker will click more. They had a rough week. Like He missed them on two opportunities for touchdowns. I'm going to go with the Browns because I think this is the type of game against the Chargers where they have the chance to run for like 150 yards. Huh. They really control the game. And, and the Browns' defense looks really good. They do. Oh, Who did they play two weeks ago? I mean, only seven of the Vikings. Texans, was it? No, it was... Um... I can't remember who they played two weeks ago. Oh, my God. But whoever they played, defense looked good, I remember. I feel like oh, my God. It was, uh, it was the Bears, I think. You're yeah. right. Yeah. The when Bears, they when they, destroyed when they literally Fields didn't give them even a chance to breathe. So, I don't think they yeah, could. their defense looked really good. Miles Garrett is the defensive player of the year right now. <laughs> Did you see that? He, he tw- the tweet he had? Yeah, that he got tested. He got tested yeah. for steroids or yep. drugs, dude. That's so funny. He goes, he goes, I go shirtless one time. Yeah. Or I go uh, sleeveless one yeah. time. All right. Next game, we got the Giants at the Cowboys. The old classic from the NFC least. Um, I'm going to go with uh, the Cowboys here. Yeah. No, no reasoning. I think they're just playing very, very well. That defense, we said it yesterday, has been playing unbelievable with digs and just shocking overall but yeah i'm going with the cowboys here you know this is the type of game that the giants end up winning somehow so i'm gonna go with the giants you know it's funny i was gonna do the giants too but i think dak prescott's just playing too well so i agree cowboys look good i don't know i just i don't think it's one of these games though the thing i feel like the best easiest way to beat the giants is stopping the run because it like Saquon hasn't looked anything yeah. crazy yet, but with their O line being as bad as it is, even if it's not stopping the run, at least just getting after the quarterback, yeah. like dominating their O line, and I don't think the Cowboys have the D line to do that. Um, so while they're still better at basically every single position outside of that, except for running back, um, I'm still gonna go with the Giants. I, I like know. it. I actually respect it because I was gonna do it, but I just I felt like I, I like Dak Prescott this year. He's doing really well. So mm-hmm. um, next game is the 49ers at the Cardinals. A, this is a great game in the best yeah. division in football right now, for yep. sure. Cardinals yeah, 4 Is it for sure? The NFC West. Or AFC West. Or that's what, okay, yeah, yeah, One of the two. One of the two, for sure. The West. All I know is the West Coast. Them, West Coast those football. guys got it popping, bro. West Coast football. College can't do it, but NFL's got it going. Jesus, dude. NFC West and AFC West. Yeah. Both un- unreal. Um, yeah, Cardinals 4 0, undefeated uh, against the San Francisco 49ers with a Trey Lance under center. Maybe. Maybe, yeah, that's right. I'm gonna go with uh I'm still gonna go with the Cardinals, I think, man. Um I'm going with the Cardinals. They just look so good, man. They yeah. had a rough game against the Jags, but that's because their offense couldn't get things going. But yeah. if that offense gets going with Kyler Murray, bro, lights out. Yeah, I'm going Sorry. with the Cardinals just because uh jeez. Uh forty nine ers secondary is really beat up. Yep. Their whole forty um, ers I feel like there's something going on. There's a plague there. Yeah, so everybody gets hurt. <laughs> Why I like their D line, <clears throat> I mean if a quarterback can just throw in a second, then it doesn't matter what your D line looks like. So yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with uh, Cardinals in this one. Okay. Sunday night game, banger! Can't wait. It's gonna be a good Ooh. one. Buffalo Bills at the Kansas City Chiefs. So Buffalo is not home. Sunday night game. Um, I'm I'm going Buffalo. I say you have to. I have to. I There's have no to. way you can have a good team be close on like a game and not close your oh, 100%. team. Oh, hundred percent. I I gotta go Buffalo, baby. Josh Allen, that guy's gonna sling it all night. I'm going with the Chiefs. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I don't pick against the Chiefs one, but two. They're on. They're at home. <laughs> who did they lose to? They lost to the Chargers last possession, and then who was their other loss? It was a um, week or two ago. Yeah, it was a bad loss. Um... The fuck did they lose to? <laughs> it was a really bad loss. I can't. Dude, I think it was week two or three. It was weeks two and three, and Mahomes got shut down. Um, um, please re look stupid. <laughs> oh, the fucking Ravens. God, how did we forget? Oh, yeah, and that was a last second squeak yeah. out, too, because of the fumble by Edwards Alaire. Unreal. Um, so the defense looks terrible, but the offense, I think, is still scoring 30 plus almost every single game. Mm-hmm. Um,. So, yeah, I don't know. I think, I think this is going to be a freaking high-scoring game. i got to mention this since you shared it on your story. Uh, ESPN had the Bills in number one oh, power yeah, rankings. Oh, yeah, I like this. I don't, whatever, it's fine with me. The Chiefs weren't even top ten. Yeah, they were. No, they were they not. They were third. 
Am I right? Am I dumb? Oh, maybe you know you're right. You might be right. Let's see. The Rams. The Chiefs are not oh, in their yeah. top ten. Yeah, I don't know about that. I didn't even notice. They that. lost two games against. Let's see. They're seventh and ninth ranked team well, so by got, a total so we four got, points or something. Here we'll go over the ESPN ratings. We got for week five, Buffalo Bills at first and first, which isn't like that far fetched. Uh, two Arizona Cardinals. L.A. Rams is three. Four is Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Five is the Packers. Six, Cleveland Browns. Seven is the Ravens. Eight, Cowboys. Nine, Chargers. And ten, the Raiders. Yeah. Okay. We can boot I can agree the Raiders yeah. out of ten. I can for agree sure. with the other top nine being in the top ten. I absolutely Chiefs. agree. Chiefs, to me, I'm taking them over Dallas. I'm taking them over. They lost to Baltimore, but if, if it's in a neutral site game, playoff game tomorrow, I'm taking the Chiefs to beat Baltimore. Oh, 100%. I'm taking the Chiefs to beat the Browns. It's going to be close. That, that would be close, yes. And then I would probably still take them to beat the Packers. I'd probably take them, honestly, to beat the Cardinals. But, I mean, those games would be really close. Yeah. But 100% you're taking them over the Cowboys. The, should I say over the Ravens and Chargers who they lost to? But, again, two close games. Dude, yeah. It's, but it is a real. I didn't even notice that. Chiefs but, hey, Buffalo's That's why I said one. that list was dog doo-doo. Horrid, he said. How, yeah. How do you not have the Chiefs top ten? Hey, oh, they lost two games against their seventh and ninth ranked teams by a total, I think, four or five points. Yeah. Like it's one possession. And both of them, they were right there. Listen, so Chiefs suck. I'm going with the Chiefs. Yeah, Chiefs blow. The Chiefs Bills are, are the best team in the league. They're winning the Super Bowl. The Chiefs blow. Not even top ten. Maybe not making the playoffs. Clip it. Where are they? Where are they in the AFC? <laughs> so there's one, yeah, two, three, four, so sixth. I guess they would still have them in. But yeah, that was. Buffalo. Okay. ESPN sucks. Monday, <laughs> Monday night. Um, we got the Colts at the Ravens. Um, I'm going to go with the Ravens. Yeah, I like the Colts, but, man, they were just so beat up. Wentz yeah. still coming back from injury. Missed five weeks no, of training. Wentz is playing with an injury. That's just still coming back. Yeah, well, okay. But, um, well, he's coming back from an injury and then got injured again. Yeah. And then it's now playing with an injury while coming back from an injury. So, basically, the guy from SpongeBob... That's Wentz. <laughs> um, well, Quentin Nelson, too. Quentin Nelson has it worse because he had the exact same injury as Wentz, but now he's actually missing games. Wentz is still playing. T.Y. Hilton's still out. So, I mean, Wentz hasn't looked bad. It's just like, yeah. Doesn't his O line, I think even the starting right tackle was out, too. Braden Smith was really good. Mm. So they're missing two of their better O linemen. They're missing probably their wide receiver one, maybe number two behind uh, Michael Pittman. Um, Wentz didn't have as long as an offseason as he should, as you hope to, obviously, to get that chemistry going with his receivers. You can kind of see it. Like, there was a route last week I saw by uh, Zach Pasco where he was kind of running, like, a drag route underneath. And he was he was open, so he kind of slowed down just to give his quarterback a softer target. And Wentz didn't expect him to, so he threw it as if he was going to keep sprinting. So he mm-hmm. missed him by about a yard. And that's just, like, something where, you know. Got to pro- work. Yeah. yeah you, you get the timing down the more you with your guys. Yeah. And you understand what, like, each other does. Um, so I'm going to go with the Ravens, but I do like the Colts. I'm hoping they can get these guys back soon because – the AFC South is kind of shit. <laughs> They're only a game out of first still, I think, behind the Titans. Shit, the Texans are a game out of first behind the Titans. Shit, the Jaguars only two got games two out. games out of first. Um, Sheesh, they're going to come back and win it. So, no, I do I do like the Colts. I hope that, like I said, they can get these guys back healthy because I, if, the, if, they, if they are healthy in the playoffs, that's not a team I'd want to play. Ooh. Frank Reich's a good coordinator. Oh, they the, made it their last the year with Philip saying? Rivers. Yeah. yeah. So they're good on defense. They're good on offense. They have good on line when they're healthy. So that's not a team I want to face in the playoffs. But for right now, with these injuries, the Baltimore Ravens, despite all their injuries. <laughs> yeah, but at least the Ravens now have a, like, they're okay now. Yeah, the Ravens are also a better football team. Unfortunately, the that defense still took a hit from Peters. But, yeah. All right. That's our week five picks. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys got some insight. Go uh, send your picks, submit your picks in our Pick 'em League. It's completely free. Top of the description. Sound like a broken record at this point, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Drop a like, subscribe, and we will catch you guys next Wednesday for the re- weekly recap and obviously more picks next week. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.